Hi, everybody. I'd like to call the meeting to order. Um, thank you for coming. Uh, this afternoon, we have myself, Natasha Yaklov, and Helen Kahn, licensed commissioners. Uh, Chair Brian Campidelli is absent. Um, I would like to also say that there is audio and video recording for the meeting this afternoon. Is there any public comment? No. Okay, great. Let's move on to. First item on the agenda, uh, Bear and Bramble Brewing Company, application for short-term liquor license for the Cycle Smart International event at Love Park on the 10th and 11th. Hi, can Hi. you come up to the podium? Sure. And for the record, can you tell us your name? My name is John Warner. I'm the vice president of the brewery. Great. Um, have you, so this is your first year? This is our first year doing the race, yes. And have you done events at Love Park before? I've done the race every almost every year for the last seven years. Oh, but the serve the beer. Oh, serve the beer. Yeah. yeah. No, yeah. no, I am sorry. Okay. I've been um, racer not a beer. Sir. Right. Okay. <laughs> That's fine. I have racers in my family, so I'm, I'm more invested in what's in the beer tent. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Of course. Um, so, but Bear Bramble hasn't served beer at Love Park for we other have not. events. Have you been briefed by the um, Jam Fund folks for how the tent is going to be set up? Yes, and we are planning. We've I've been in contact with the director or the associate director Megan about. Yep. You know what to expect and what times they would like us there. Um, sort of how much beer to bring, and uh, where I'm going to meet with her on Tuesday afternoon just to get everything, you know, settled down. Or it's Friday afternoon. Okay. Um, and but and Bear Bramble has done off-site serving. That's we have. We yes, have we did. Mike's here. we did the Mike's Maze event a few weeks okay. ago. That was our first. We've done some charity events, but our Mike's Maze is our first one where um, it was sort of uh, event with money changing hands. It wasn't mm -hmm. just for charity, I guess. Yep. Um, so yeah, we're familiar with serving the public, and we've had not really any problems uh, that I know of. Okay. You have questions? Yeah, and will you have a constant area for the, or is it in the? It's in it. Oh, it's under a tent. It's not. Yeah. Okay. Gated. Um, have you seen it before at Cycle Cross? I have not. So they they set up a a tent. Um, it's quite big, about half the size of this room, and they serve food out of it. So volunteers and cyclists have tickets to go get food, and then at the end of the tent. Okay. Where the beer is served. Okay. Yeah, I don't have any other questions. I have no other questions either. Do you have any questions? Uh, no. Okay, great. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay, so I'll make a motion to approve the application for a short term liquor license by Beer and Bramble Brewing Company for um, Look Park on November 10th and 11th, 10 30 a.m. to 5 30 p.m. for the Cycle Smart International Cycle Club Cross Race. I second. This one. <laughs> <laughs> All in favor? Aye. Aye. <laughs> thank you. Okay. Very much. Thank you very Have much. A good time. Okay. Item number four: application for short-term liquor license for Click Workspace. Hi there. Hi. How are you? Good. How are you doing? Good. Thank you. My name is Catherine Ing. <coughs> I'm a member advocate at Click Workspace. How are you? Good. Thank good. you. Um, so you're here for a wine and malt license for the 15th of November and the 7th of December? Yes. And are these for typical events similar to how you've done in the past? Yeah, um, they're all the quick events that we serve um, wine and malt at are generally set up the same way. We have a small bar and um, generally the same group of service like bartenders that always do our events for us. So um, it's all generally the same stuff. Great. Yeah. Do you have questions? I do not. I do not have questions either. Do you want to make a motion? Sure. I would like a, to make a motion to approve the application for a short-term liquor license um, to a workspace um, for November 15th and uh, from 5 to 7.30 p.m. and December 7th, 2018 from 7 p.m. to 9 p.m. I second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Thank you. Awesome. Thank you so much. Um, you don't need the chair, do you? <laughs> He's asking. Yeah, um, yeah. Okay. You don't need to anything. Okay. Um, There's something you just went off. Yeah. But, um, we can do it for the We could sign and then could he come into? Okay. Something we need to vote. Well, the two of us are going to vote it forward. Okay. Yeah, we can just cross his name out and put a certain type down there. Okay. And then you guys should sign. Okay. Okay. Okay, if you're okay with that, we'll tell me he doesn't need to come. Okay, great. Um, item number five application for short term liquor licenses, Northampton Center for the Arts. Hi. 
Hi, <laughs> I'm Penny Burke, <laughs> lately of the Northampton Center for the Arts. Back again. <laughs> Requesting the same thing I requested last time <laughs> for a couple of events that are coming up, as you can see. Fantastic. Yes, and I would like to, again, request the mm -hmm. feedback. We did, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, so I'll make a motion to approve, unless you have something else to share. Do you have anything else? No? Okay. Not <laughs> today. <laughs> See you next month. Exactly. Uh, to approve the application for short-term liquor licenses for the Northampton Center for the Arts at the Northampton Community Arts Trust at 30 Poly Street, Wine and Malt, uh, for November 30th, December 1st, and December 2nd, 7 to 10 p.m. for a performance as well as December 6th, 7th, and 8th, 7 to 10 p.m. for a performance. Um, and I also move to approve the fee waiver. So, all in favor? Aye. Aye. Thank you. Thanks, Penny. Aye. Okay. All right. All right. Number six, application for change of manager with all alcohol club license. Hi. I am Michael Barthel. And I am the president of the <coughs> Northampton Arts Center. Thank you for coming. And so you are here today to become the, you're here as the proposed manager sure. of the club. Time as president? <laughs> as president, yes, I am uh, it's year number six. But it's change. Change, change of manager. manager. <clears throat> for a change of manager on an all alcohol club license for Northampton Lodge number 997 of the Benevolent Protective Order of Elks um, with the proposed manager being uh, Michael R. Bartsley. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Thank you very Thank much. Thank you. You're welcome. So number seven, uh, public hearing on an application for conversion of a seasonal wine and malt license to an annual wine and malt license for Mosaic Cafe. Hi. Are you happy to talk? I'm the owner of the cafe. Thanks for coming. Okay, so this is. Five years, and there haven't been any issues during that time with the with that. So yeah, so you're just converting to annual, which is good. 
more shoppers in their stores we could have a festive atmosphere without a beer garden or something that would take away from the family friendly right. vibe of the event um, and we were hoping that keeping it to the arts night out venues would um, mean that it was people that were already practiced in the routine and had the right servers and knew the drill how would it work or will it work um, if it's not happening on arts night out or is it? correct it's not right how will you be sure that other folks aren't also serving people who aren't on the arts night out um the only people that i would make this offer to would be arts night out right. venues if another place wanted to do it they would have to come to you and get right it would be just like any other time like any other exactly yeah. um and we thought we would try this this year and if i i can't i don't anticipate hearing complaints from yeah. other stores but if i did then next year we would maybe do something different. Maybe mm -hmm. we come in for a different type of license, or maybe I just have everybody come in separately. This we felt like it was a test run to see yeah. how this format and setup would work at this event in in a controlled way with people that have done right. it before. Right. Right. That makes sense. Um, yeah. So all aspects of it would be the same as on the Arts Find Out license. But the, the conditions for serving would all be the same, all the rules and requirements would be the same, all of the venues would be the same. There just won't be flags out that say Arts Night Out and it won't be on a Friday. Right. Um, uh, it's the same time frame too, a 5 to 8, which is identical to Arts Night Out. Mm -hmm. So, um, I know I should know the answer to this, but what would be involved in um, submitting a separate license? Is it a process <laughs> to, to, no to I mean I think it would be a, a extra piece of paper and a signature from each individual retailer mm -hmm. I guess my I debated and that's why I put it in as an and or right, um, right. because I wanted to sort of keep it controlled this first time that we were trying it using the arts night out venue seemed like a logical way to do it and coming in under that arts night out license seemed like a way to make it like I'm not leaving out other venues and just picking and choosing. I mean, if I go in and get a separate license, yeah. then I feel like I, I have to go to all the downtown retailers and offer them this no, opportunity, yeah. which may be how we do it in the future, but that felt for this time where we've never tried this before to be maybe not the best plan. Yeah. Right. I guess um, I'm just wondering, I don't know if you know, Annie, if there's any precedent of doing a modification to an existing license, is that, or is this, would this be setting a new pre precedent? That's my only concern, is that, mm -hmm. then is there, oh, I actually meant to add this date, you know, yeah, for other people I, to come in. I, I don't know. I haven't seen anything like it. I'd have to check. Yeah. But I, I don't think so. Yeah, you don't think it has happened? I don't think it has yeah. happened. Yeah, and honestly, that's my sure. only concern is mm -hmm. that it becomes a sort of open, like, oh, we have these yeah. six dates, and now I just like to add, add a couple more. Yeah. Can I do that? Um, you know, um, but I certainly understand the logic behind tagging this one. Yeah, because like, yeah. if we went with the alternative and had a separate license for each venue, right. 
um, instead of doing it under the Arts Night Out, so you would get signatures from each other venue that right. wanted to participate. Right. And I could um, do that. It's, I mean, I, I can go. To, I have to ask you retroactively to make or pay me today and get the signatures. Right. Later. Um, I'm just I guess to get through the risk of you know, there's the risk of um, setting precedent on the one hand. Right. But then on the other hand, it, I like the idea of having this group of retailers who have experience with having the public come into their shops during shopping hours and serving wine. Mm -hmm. um, I think it opens it up to, you know, to do the other and, and get signatures of anybody who wants to participate. Really, it's kind of slap shot and it opens it up to people who might be under the gun trying to get this together yeah. and make it happen. And I don't feel great about that. Mm -hmm. But then there's the reality that I'm sure sometimes shops are serving wine and we have no idea nor does anybody else unless they come in and there's wine being served. Right. Um, yeah. Mm -hmm. sure. Would it be a terrible precedent? I mean if I'm the first person that's come in and asked to modify a liquor license. Yeah. Right. I can't imagine the line of people behind me that are suddenly going to rush well, you. With and it's really the only license of its type that I can think of that applies that is on a regular basis and applies to schedule of a schedule in a number of venues and a, <coughs> well, yeah, a predictable a places. Venues, but I was going to say, you know, I'm thinking, you know, like the Academy comes in every month, and, mm -hmm. you know, like they sort of come and they don't say, now can I just add this to an existing shortcut, right? I mean, they're doing essentially an application right. every time. Right. Um, but but they this do is that. different that it's multiple venues. Yeah, they do that by choice. That that oh, fits right. them because they're only allowed to have a certain number. So only allowed to have 30. So they don't want to plan them all out in advance in case there's concert cancellations right. or they decide not to serve it. Right. It leaves them more flexibility. And do we have any other short-term liquor licenses for multiple venues? Like, the, or is this really? The Arts Night Out license is a, it's a special license. It is a special license. Okay. So say, yeah, no, it's an exception for the special well, yeah, license. Well, not for, the fact that it exists for all. is already a precedent. <laughs> right. <laughs> Right. <laughs> Here's that. Here's that. Yeah. Um, okay. I'm happy to go collect yeah. signatures just from those venues. If yeah. So otherwise, if we do a modification, then just what's the how, what's the process look like? We just say there's a modification, and then that's um, notified. Or is there like, do they actually have a piece of paper sort of printed out, and so we? You'd have like an addendum, yeah, <laughs> basically. No, I'd, have to, I'd probably just add the date to the yeah. existing license and then print like 22 copies. Yep. Right, which you'd have to do anyway for the single license for that date. Right. I mean, if we were to say it's a separate license. Okay. And I think it's yeah. it's not forever and ever that this gets done. This is, a, mm -hmm. your, it sounds like you're experimenting a little bit. I with feel that. like this is our test run. Yep. If, if it goes well, then I think um, before our next before any of our next public events, our liquor license, the Arts liquor license would be up for renewal. Mm -hmm. So I think I would come into you then and say, this one, great, we want to add that now as a date. Right. Or this didn't fly. Yeah. We don't know. Right. So I'm happy also if you wanted to make it a one time only. And if that helps you. Right, right. Add no, language no, yeah, of, no, like, no, this I, is a yeah. I felt like we needed to talk Special, it unique, well, you know? Yeah. I, no, I think you're right to yeah. talk it through. Yeah. yeah. I mean, as an event in conjunction with Arts Night Out participants is how it makes sense to me. Because Arts Night Out is so ingrained as a right. Friday, you know, it's very specific. Mm -hmm. um, so I think, yeah, I think if, if it were, if it were clear that this is in conjunction with Arts Night Out participants and that this is for this one time only and then mm -hmm. revisit it in the future when other events come up and then see how we can do something that makes more sense in a permanent sort of sure. way. Do you know what I mean? Sure. What do you think? Yeah, I think that's okay. Okay. In terms of, yeah, just you know, to modify the existing. Yeah. That's what we're talking and I'll about. also find out how many of the venues actually take me up on this. Um, yeah, yeah. Because I didn't want to talk to them about it until I came and talked yeah. to you all. So, right. oh, I'd be curious too. If only two places take them, then it's obviously not worth me. Right, right. Doing a song and dance every year. Right. <laughs> they can right. come to it on their own. Yeah. yeah. No, that seems like a controlled way to to move on, move forward with it. Okay. I don't have any other questions. Yeah, no, no. I'm not good. Okay. Yeah. 
Okay, so I'll take a shot at a motion. Okay. <laughs> so we're going to make a motion to to modify the existing arc sign out short term liquor license to reflect the addition of Saturday, December 1st, 2018 from 5 to 8 p.m. as adjunct arts night out programming for the Downtown Northampton Association. Okay. I second. Uh, all in favor? Uh, excellent. Thank you. <laughs> Thanks, Thanks you. Okay. <laughs> Thanks, Amy. Good luck with it. Thank you. Okay. Number nine. If hearing regarding revocation or suspension of class three auto dealer license. So is this another public hearing where I make a motion to open it? Okay. Hey there. I just wanted to give them a little briefing. Okay. <coughs> It's been a rough year. It's okay. <laughs> Going from one thing to another, but I think we're on the right track now. It's just a, just trying to play catch up, so to speak. I made copies of all the payments that I've made since Tom Tide Attack. I think we're on the right track. I just, I don't expect to have somebody hand me a license and say, we're going to leave it here. I've got to go by what you tell me. Mm -hmm. um, like I said, it's been a rough year. But I, I think we're heading in the right direction now. Financially, things are starting to straighten out. Um, as long as Tom doesn't have any setbacks, we should be okay. I just need some more time, so I thought if I could just, you know, get 90 days to get the rest of it caught up. I'm pretty sure we can do that. My son and I have gone over the finances a couple times. And being as what we've been able to do in, 30 day, in 60 days, I think we can do it again. Would you mind just for the record stating your name? Oh, I'm sorry, Peggy Geese. Okay. Peggy Geese? Yes. Okay, thank you so much. No problem. So, do you know, was this letter from Christine sent after review of all of receiving receipts and payments and this such? This was given to me yesterday. she gave it to me, she told me that Peggy had just been in. So this was already printed by mm -hmm. when Peggy came to the office. Yeah, I was in again yesterday. Yeah. Yeah. <coughs> and it was when you were in yesterday when you gave receipts of the payments? I photocopied all the uh, cashier's checks that I've given her to do. Oh, okay. So okay. all of those are, are with that letter. Okay. Uh, I think we're a little over $10,000 that we've been able to pay over the last 60 days. So, okay, so this is through October. I think she had said 2017 was all, all set. I'm not mistaken, but she, Yes, I think yes. we got that information. Yeah. 2017 was all set. Yeah. Um, yes. Um, so we have a letter from her, um, and it says as of today, which it says is November 5th, that it's $6,293.61, but it says through October's installment. So it looks like you've actually made payments since then, right? You are, um, I'm up to, because well, I'm seeing yeah. the November 5th November. payment. So that would take a thousand off of that, right? Oh, no, actually two. Uh, payments I think because yeah, there's one on November yeah I mean second November right. and November 5th so, it, so from what I understand it means now we're at 4,000 is, is that correct 4,293 dollars and 61 cents because do you understand that today? yeah because um, I did sit and talk with Christine because apparently I really didn't read very well when we entered into the agreement. Mm -hmm. I didn't realize that was 500 a week forever and ever. Uh, she said, yeah, it's three years. And I said, I thought it was just until I was current. So that's all on me. I did not read it. 
Um, so, she, I mean, she's recommending that um, we suspend the license until the payments are made, I think is her, her recommendation, mm -hmm. right? Um, What did um, she say the balance was? Well, well so uh, in this letter, um, she says um, it, through October's installment, it's $6,293.61. Okay. Okay. So what I'm not totally clear on is if that's before you, the $2,000 that you right. paid in November, okay. which is what be, it, it reads like. Yeah. It's got to be because yeah. if she gave this to me yesterday and, she, and he had just dropped off the payment, it, that wasn't included in here. Right. But there's a November 5th payment, there's right. also yeah, a November 2nd second payment. So, and this was written November 5th, so, but it, but then it says through October's through installment, October's so, so I'm not, <laughs> I would say it's, it's either, yeah. yeah, it's either four or five, but it's not clear, but yeah. Um, so, so I understand. I mean, a suspension of a license means that you can't, you can't yeah. run the business yeah. until it's paid, correct? So so the uh, used car portion of it. So that's yes. what that license is for. Yes. Okay. It's, a, it's a class three, which is a motor vehicle junk license. Right, junk cars. Yeah. So she'll have to physically give me her license okay. until it's paid. Okay. And then I physically get it back. Okay. Right. All right. Like a, like Do, you, Do you know how long it might take you to? Well, if there's only if I'm down to four, I should be able to do it within 30 days. It seems if we're calculating this correctly yeah. and make, going on an assumption that Christine hadn't processed the November 2nd check yet, which right. I mean she says clearly through October's installment. Yeah, and I paid two cents then. So, so I mean it would it would certainly need to be uh, verified by her department, okay. but it looks like it's four thousand two hundred ninety-three. I should be able cents. to do that within the 30 days at the way he's got my payment set up in the office for some reason he thought it was more but that could be because I had that six thousand dollar figure too mm -hmm. okay and then you'll be in a position to continue paying the taxes I mean once Correct. you're caught up with that you'll be in a position to again. stay on schedule. yeah I'm going to get together with Christine again after I get this caught up so we yeah. can figure out what's best for us easiest for us I guess. right okay. um, so then um, when we suspend the license, it essentially can be open-ended to say until, um, as she says, until the terms of the payment agreement are in good standing, which doesn't give a limit on okay. how long it is. It would just be until that happens, right? If you were to or, uh, or do we need to say that it needs to happen within a certain amount of time? Uh, or. You know, I'm, I'm I mean, confused you're, you're, on that too because she said that payment agreement is null and void. It's no longer in existence. We'll have to deal with it after you get caught up. So right. I think that's why I'm supposed to get back with Christine after this balance has been paid to figure out what I'm what I'm going to be capable of doing, so I don't get myself in trouble. You know, basically. In the future. And how much of your business is the is this license? Not a lot. I mean, maybe five percent. It's okay. hardly anything right now. So if the license were suspended for the 30 days it takes to, to become current, it's not going to have such an impact on your business no. that you're not able to get yourself current. Correct. Okay. Yeah, that was my concern. Too, yeah. So. Okay. Um, now, does she notify you when these payments are all up to date? Is that what happens? Well, we will keep in touch with her. Okay. Yeah. yeah, I know she's on vacation this week. Yes. Um, but yeah. Okay. I'll, I'll keep in touch with her definitely. Okay. So I think you could, if you were going to suspend it, I think you could leave it open and until, well, you know, because I mean, it could go on for months. Right. I mean, I would, I would want to do, I think, a 30 day. What are your thoughts? Oh, and so we can say, but no longer then, because at that point it's revoked. Is that essentially what we're saying? So suspend the license until payments are made, but not for more than a well, I actually can't renew the license in December like I normally would right. until this is cleared until up anyway. Cleared. I still so have to fill out all that paperwork. Oh, right. so it has to be. Okay. Yeah. So for the remainder of the year. Okay. Yeah, so there's incentive there, I mean, for the payments to okay. be made because of that. Right. Yep. Um, renewal. But that's not something I guess we have to address here because that'll sort of happen automatically. But if, it, if the payments are made, then 
they couldn't renew the license. Okay. So essentially we're suspending it for the remainder of the, of the year, mm -hmm. unless the payments are made before that time. All right, for the rest of this year. I know the rest of Yeah, yeah. yeah. you know what I mean? It's sort of not, yeah. Not uh, well, so that, since we're already in November, yeah. yeah, and the license would be renewed, up for renewal in December. The last day. Right. Yeah. December 31st. Correct. So if so if we suspend the license until the payments are made, mm -hmm. either that's going to happen before they're up for renewal or it's not going to happen then they can't renew anyway. Correct. Right. Yeah. Okay. So, so so yeah, so essentially suspending the license for the remainder of the year or until the payments are made, whichever comes first. Right. right. You know, sort of that right. makes that sense. Right? That makes sense. <laughs> okay. I think that makes sense. Okay. <laughs> that makes sense. That, that makes sense to you. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I don't want to leave again and not know yeah. what I'm doing. Yeah, no, it's important. Okay. Just so I'm clear, so we don't have to address what happens with next year's license okay. with right. this motion, right? Right. <laughs> okay. Yeah, right. That's sort so of for the rest of this process. year, don't use that license, and as long as I'm current, I can renew the license or the paperwork to renew it after I set up things. With yes, right. but I do need the physical license. Okay. I can bring that down tomorrow. Okay, just great. drop it off. Yes. Okay. So we just need to make that motion just okay. before you. Do you want to make a motion? Um, sure. So um, uh, I make a motion to um, suspend the um, class three car dealer license held by 1812 Payton Auto Body Inc. Uh, from now until the end of this calendar year, or until the, all of the payments are made, whichever comes first. Okay. Yeah, Thank, you much. Thank you very much. Thank you, Good luck, Thank you. Thank you for coming in. Okay. Item number 10. Public hearing on an application for transfer of license, change of location, change of license type, and pledge of license on an all alcohol on premise license from Old Way Leasing Inc., Clarion Hotel, 1 Atwood Drive, to Doc Doyle and Company, LLC, DBA Caminito, 7 Old South Street from an in-holder type to a restaurant type license. Hi. Hi. How are you? Good. Good. I'm Brian Doyle. I'm the owner of Candido. Yes. OK, so this was the license at the Clarion. Purchase the license. OK. It's pretty straightforward. Yeah. Do you have anything to add that's not here that we need to know? Um, no. Once he gets, once this transfer goes through, he'll surrender his one and all. Yep. Um, yeah. Okay. Yeah, anything you want to add? No. <laughs> I'm good. I'm good. <laughs> all right. How's it going? It's going well. Oh, good. Yeah. Good. Yeah, we're doing well. We're excited to. Have this and have a little more later Always in the happens. evening stuff. And yeah. 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 It's gonna be fun. Has the menu changed? Uh, not not too much. Um, a few little changes here and there, and uh, we're looking to do some more more wintry kind of stuff. We did some more summery stuff with the patio open, but uh, nice. not a lot of people want to sit up there anymore. It's weird. It is know. weird. I don't know why that is. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So, uh, kids have to come in. Yes, I haven't, I, I haven't, I think I was in just as it was changing hands, that was the last, and it's funny to hear because I was thinking about it a few nights ago, like, yeah. I want to go there. Mm -hmm. All right. I don't have any questions about this transfer. I do not either. No. Then I will make a motion to approve the application for transfer of license, change of location, change of license type, and pledge of license on an all alcohol on-premise license from Old Way Leasing to Doc Doyle and Company. Uh, second. Okay. And all in favor? Aye. Great. Thank you. So Thank you. Item 11, approval of estimated resident population of 28,549 as of July 10th, 2019. Yes, so this, this number is based on 50,010 federal census, so it doesn't change, but it does need to be certified for the ABCC because our quota is based on population. How often does the federal census happen? 10 years. Every 10 years? Yes. 
So 2020 is an expenses. July 10th, 2019. Wait, this is the future. We're good. okay. So. Yep. They they want to know what our population will be as of oh, July 10th. Okay. Okay. And it's very specific numbers. You can see. <laughs> yeah. We better not yeah, skip forty nine. <laughs> I thought it was 47. I thought it was 547, but if you said. I'd like a recount. <laughs> Can we go? Who are these two new people who will be coming in in July? Now? <laughs> Thank you. Okay, item. So we're all set with that? Yes. Okay. Item 12 request for approval of license commission meeting schedule. Um, yeah, I looked ahead. I look at the first Wednesday of the month. Yes. Yes. Same thing. I just yep. didn't know if there would be any. Well, January third is the first Thursday because yes. we're Still not sleeping. So, so. Yes. Right. Um, <laughs> so I, I didn't know if any of these were potential conflicts with any of you. I mean, I know I won't be here for the one in June, but that. I mean, I'm gonna. I think it's June. Or <coughs> but June I'm gone like. July 3rd. Oh, it's July 3rd. It's yeah. yeah, I'm, I'm going June 25th one. through yeah. July 17th or something. So, but if other people are here during that time, it's in the past we've so last year we only we tried to have one, uh, two meetings in the summer instead of one every month, but we ended up having one every month. Right. Yeah. Um, and I think we had two in June. Right. We had a special meeting. We did. So. That this we can we can discuss it come April or May. Yeah, I think that makes sense. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sure. yeah I mean, none of the meetings present a conflict for me, okay. except there will be a random time where it is. Oh yeah, yeah, That's yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah, of okay. Of course, I didn't know if there's anything <laughs> like a yeah. or something that's yeah. scheduled. Yeah. No. Okay. No. So. So do we need to make a motion to approve? The, is this one of those? Is that? 2019 license commission meeting schedule. Do we? Those are the changes. Yeah. Okay. Approval of minutes. Um, did you have um, there? Sorry. 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 Dates. If you oh, actually well, want to look okay. at them. <laughs> and I did review the minutes. And yes. I. Um, Find the minutes. Did you have anything to amend? No, I don't. Okay, then I will make a motion to approve the minutes for both September 5th, 2018 and October 3rd, 2018. Well, second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. New business? No. None? Okay. No. Same. No. Excellent. Then we adjourned. Motion to adjourn? Motion to adjourn. So, do I need permission? <laughs> All in favor? <laughs> so Thanks. these are the documents that yeah. I just gave us. Oh, yeah, yeah. 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 Great. Can you take those. Oh my gosh. Next meeting is the one.